Hey everyone, it's Gus from Pi My Life Up and today I'll be going through how to set up Boink on the Raspberry Pi. At the time of this tutorial, Boink, or also known as Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing, has over 400,000 volunteers and almost a million computers processing data for a range of different projects. In this particular tutorial, I'll be installing the SETI at Home project. For those who don't know, SETI at Home is a program that will enable you to help in the search of extraterrestrial intelligence. It simply downloads and analyzes radio telescope data. Once processed, it sends it back to the main server. If you're familiar with the Boink program, then you will probably already know that SETI at Home is the most popular project that you're able to sign up to. There are others that you can try, but some may not be available for the Raspberry Pi. SETI at Home, for example, was only just recently officially released for the Pi. You can find the full list of projects you can join and their supported platforms over at the Boink project page. This also has information on what areas a project covers and any sponsors it may have. To quickly name a few examples, you can help process data for biochemistry, medicines, astrophysics, physics, and much more. You can find all the links to the correct Boink documentation over at the full tutorial on PyMyLifeUp.com. Installing Boink is a pretty straightforward process and you shouldn't run into any problems. I am just using basic Raspbian in this tutorial. If you need to install it, be sure to check out my tutorial on how to install Raspbian. So to begin, firstly make sure everything is up to date by running the following commands. sudo apt get update sudo app get upgrade. Now let's install the Boink package by running the following command sudo apt get install boink. Installing Boink will also install the Boink manager which is incredibly handy. The manager will allow you to see all your projects and any statistics about them. Next we're going to set up SETI as a project we wish to process and contribute to. There are two ways we're able to do this with the first being via the Boink manager and the second via the command line. Using the manager is probably the easiest way when it comes to adding projects to the Pi. It's very easy to use so it's great for beginners and is still loaded with tons of features for the more advanced users. Now if you have Raspbian open then you can simply go to menu System Tools, Boink. On first load, it will bring up the Add New Project screen. In this window, select either Add Project, or if you have an account with BAM or Grid Republic, then you can select Account Manager. In my case, I'll select Add Project. On the Project page, scroll down to SETI at Home and select it. Now press Next. It will now connect and create a project. You will now need to either log in or create a new account. I have an existing account so I'll just log into that. Once done the project should be loaded on for Pi and we'll now soon start processing tasks for that project. I will now go through how to add a project via the command line. So to begin we need to query the SETI at home website for an account key. To do this enter the following boink cmd dash dash lookup underscore account http forward slash forward slash SETI at home dot berkeley dot edu space your account email address space your account password. If you don't have either of these then you'll need to sign up over at the SETI at home website. It should now come up with a couple of lines status success and then poll status operation in progress. Finally it will give you your account key. Now use this account key in the next command boink cmd dash dash project underscore attach http sending colon forward slash forward slash SETI at home dot berkeley dot edu space and then your account key. Your account should now be added and will start collecting tasks to process immediately. If you want to see the tasks that are currently being processed then you can just run the following command boink cmd dash dash get underscore tasks. You can see all the tasks that are being run on the Boink program. If you decide to go down the command line route, then be sure to check out all the commands that are available to you. You can bring them all up by using the following command. Boink cmd 
space dash dash help. If you want more information you can find it over at the Boink's wiki page. Configuring Boink can be a pretty complex task if you're doing it through the command line. If you're doing it through the manager tool then everything is a lot easier. You can change settings so that Boink will only run under certain conditions. For example, if you only want it to run whilst you're asleep or whenever the Pi isn't busy doing other stuff, then you can set it to do that. To fully explain configuring every option via the command line will bloat this video out way too much. I'll just touch on a couple of basics instead. If you want more information I have links to the relevant documentation over at pymylifeup.com. If you want to set up preferences for Boink in the command line then you can edit the config file by entering the following sudo nano forward slash var forward slash lib forward slash boink dash client forward slash cc underscore config dot xml. You'll find this file is probably pretty empty. To find out all the options you can add, check out the documentation at this URL. If you make edits to the config file, then make sure you run the following command. Boink cmd dash dash read underscore cc underscore config. If you're using the manager and would like to change things such as the running conditions, then go to the tools and then select computing preferences. Basically all the settings are self-explanatory so I'll let you decide the best settings for you. Now these might be a bit underwhelming so if you're more of a power user then you can change it to a more advanced view. To do this go up to view and then select advanced view. As you can see the advanced view has a few more tabs so we'll just quickly go through what each of them contain. This screen contains news from any of the projects you're currently running. For example SETI at home will provide you with any relevant news to the SETI program or similar programs. The more projects you run the more news you're likely to have here. This screen contains all the projects that you're currently running. In here you can control projects to a certain degree. For example you can suspend or request that you no longer receive new tasks for that project. You can also remove, update and edit properties of any given project. The task screen shows you all the current tasks on the Pi. You can suspend, abort and edit the properties of any given task. As you can also see you're given stats such as progress, time elapsed, estimated time remaining, running status, deadline and other useful information. This screen displays all the current downloads and uploads that are ready to start, completed or currently in progress. You can abort the transfers or suspend if you don't wish for something to be sent or received. This screen shows you statistics related to your project's progress. The value on the left represents the credits received and the values on the bottom are the dates. To quickly explain for anyone who doesn't know, point credits are a way of tracking the amount of CPU time a user has contributed to a given project. It helps prevent cheating by validating the project first. After validation you are rewarded credits. Disk shows you how much room is being taken up by Boink and other programs. It also shows you the amount of free space on the device. This can be helpful if you're running out of room or have limited space on the device you're using. There are of course even more settings in the menu that will satisfy any power user. You will find that the computing preference menu I touched on earlier is also expanded allowing you to go into even more detail on how things should be run. Overall Boink is a great software package that you should certainly check out if you want to help process data to help cure diseases, search for extraterrestrial intelligence, study global warming and much more. This is a project that I will leave running on my spare Pis just like I still have the Raspberry Pi ADS-B flight tracker still running. You can see my statistics over at pymylifeup.com. I hope you now have Raspberry Pi Boink up and running with little to no problems. If you do come across any problems, have feedback or anything else then feel free to leave a comment below or over at pymylifeup.com. Until next time, have a good one. Looking for more Pi projects to do? Check out these 21 awesome Pi projects that anyone can do.
Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.